welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, we're going to try this new format for a little bit because we're going into the holiday. So um, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. Um, all right, so Virgo, how are you? Let's take a look and see what the messages are coming up. So you have the lovers and the three of pentacles. So somebody here, it looks like there's a love partnership where two people are kind of relearning about each other or <clears throat> learning about each other getting to know one another understanding how you know each other what makes the other person tick is how i feel okay so we do have gemini energy let's see yeah i feel like somebody's also studying you or studying the relationship maybe trying to understand what might have happened or this could be somebody that you're connecting with new there's communication a decision a choice and it feels like um virgo there's an energy i feel like somebody here or two people in general want to try to figure out how to make something work kind of like going back to the drawing board starting over two people making a decision here with the lovers to start over and try to make something it's kind of like um Hmm. it's like teamwork maybe there's counseling couples therapy or something like that somebody's willing to go to couples therapy or willing to um un like kind of like read books or just try to understand you know taking notes i feel like somebody is like taking notes relearning or learning how to be in a relationship as well okay yeah five of cups so there's definitely an energy of remorse and grief maybe something ended or someone is feeling sad and they want to try to um it feels like i'm hearing someone say oh in past relationships or a marriage that i was in things didn't go well um or our relationship didn't go well in the past and i want to try to start over i miss you i'm <clears throat> sad without you i have a lot of regret and remorse for really not taking the time to understand you or try to work through things together with you oh boy six of cups okay so this definitely is a reconciliation for some and for others there's an energy here of like you know, I wasn't a good parent to our children, you know, um, I want to go back to when we first met and how things were in the very beginning, try to reconnect and start from, you know, I'm just hearing when we were younger, also, um, however long it's been since you've known somebody here, but there is somebody who's coming back in September, wanting to reconnect, they think fondly of you they have a lot of great memories so i guess the heart grows fonder when the absence occurs okay um and for others this could be somebody new you're connecting with where you know they okay hold on now they're giving me a very interesting message okay they have children that are in school perhaps okay um but it feels like they're a single parent and for some of you um wanting to connect you might meet this person actually in a school a school setting or university of some sort it could be somebody that you went to college with or university with when you guys were younger as well and this person has been thinking about you and missing you all right let me see what else is going on here okay so page of pentacles so there's definitely a message coming in from someone here and the knight of cups so there's a proposal as well <laughs> a love offer um you might get asked out or somebody might ask you to go do something with them they there's communication definitely from someone here where they're talking about their plans but that always feels like here i'll i'll tip i'll tip the the server or i'll pay for dinner or let me uh, somebody wants to maybe pitch in to pay for something you know but there's also i feel like paying for a ring or or it, you, or it could be in september or further down this person has these ideas they want to you know 
offer some type of symbol to you of their love, whether it's an actual engagement ring or if it's just like a token of their love that's very valuable or they give you a gift. For some of you, it could be a birthday gift you might be getting. If it's belated or if your birthday hasn't come, it could be coming up in September. Okay, let me see here. This is a beautiful reading. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody showing up in that very grounded, earthy energy. Okay, let's see. Or they're thinking about you as well. King of Pentacles energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Well, they could be one of those signs. Um, or they're, you know, they're obviously thinking about you here with the King of Pentacles, male or female energy. But I also feel like this person is doing well for themselves. Very stable, grounded business person, good with career, settled. You know, this is somebody who can afford nice things for themselves, quality things. They may not be somebody that has a lot, but they can afford nice quality things. Okay. Wow, Four of Swords. This is healing after some kind of a breakup. So the overall message, I feel, yeah, after something might have ended here. Sorry. <sighs> Hopefully you can see that. With the Ten of Swords, there might have been a betrayal or some type of an ending. Um, or somebody's hitting rock bottom is what I feel like. Surrendering to the love. Surrendering to this connection you know it like i said for a lot of you this is a reconciliation with someone and for others you could be connecting with someone that has children well even if they're grown they could be grown they could be in college or you know way 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 grown um looking back on their past and saying you know i wish i'd done better with my kids or i wish i had done better uh, grieving the child uh, childhood and and healing from that doing the work with the three of pentacles because that's like study that's working on self all right let me see what are the love messages here okay chemistry so there's very strong chemistry here with you and another person okay a very strong magnetic attraction like if you know when you think of whoever it is that you, you are thinking about, you know that there's a very strong chemistry attraction. You may not have been compatible in the past. So that energy may have played a huge factor in this connection um, or in past connections not going anywhere because there was some type of incompatibility. Okay, but it was like two people never stopped thinking of each other. And I feel like you guys are going to be coming together. There's definitely going to be some communication in September. And somebody's ready. Like, you're going to get some kind of offer. A love offer, proposal. Oh, my goodness. So, past life relationship. This is a past person. Okay. Yes, you could have somebody new coming in as well. But this feels, I mean, it's just all over the board. This is a past connection. Somebody's going to offer their love to you, make up some type of proposal, tell you they want to get married, they want to marry you, or they want to be in a long-term type of commitment with you, hitting rock bottom, ready to do this. Now, you take it, you know, this doesn't have to be that person that you were like, no, I'm totally finished with them. This could be someone from long ago or from before that person. Let me see. What other messages do you have here? Oh my gosh. Karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So at one point, I do feel like this might have been a very karmic connection or it felt like a karmic connection, okay, where there was a lot of struggle in this connection in the past. There could have been many different, a lot of obstacles. You two could have grown apart or things could have kept you apart and it just made it impossible. It feels like right person, bad timing. And now that timing is turning around and I feel like somebody here is surrendering to the, oh my goodness, surrendering to the connection. So engagement ring. I'm sorry you can't see this. I'll try to make sure I'm going to set my lighting up different next time. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I was saying. You're getting something 
engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Wow, Virgo. I mean, this so far is like the best reading for you guys for September. Let me just get one affirmation card from my Moonology deck to see what the messages are here for you. Um, I'm also picking up September 6th is a significant day for someone. What is the Moonology message? Okay, communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So talking, talking, talking. The communication. So the affirmation and the message here for you at this time, Virgo, is to open the lines of communication um, or allow those lines to be open with, you know, who this person is, who you know this person is. Talk to them or at least allow them to talk. Okay, work on your communication skills that here is what the three of pentacles is the pent the three of pentacle card is always about skills but the three represents communication and numerology so i feel like for this connection to work okay for you guys to go the distance some of you virgos are going to need to open yourselves up and talk and and also listen because listening is a part of communicating and also if you have questions you need to ask ask those questions gather that information getting to know each other find things out okay um talk get to know one another all right virgo so i'm going to leave that message there for you i'm going to leave a uh, post in my community section to see a poll i'm going to do a poll to see if you guys like the shorter readings versus the longer ones um, i'm just curious i'm still going to do the longer ones but i just want to see how you guys feel about the shorter so go over to my community tab here on my channel and check that out and let me know if you like the short readings as well if i have short readings i could probably do a lot more during the day so we'll see all right you guys love you bye